Thanks. Hello everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks very much for joining us as we take a look at the weekend weather forecast and the windy blast of weather that is coming next week. There's a lot to cover. Let's kick off with the animated uh, maps for Friday evening and you can see that wind, that northwest wind, pretty light, maybe a little bit breezy in some areas like Cook Strait, but it's not as bad as it has been. Down in the south we've got a fairly strong westerly, but again most of that is offshore. So Friday evening, fairly pleasant in many areas, a little bit of rain or showers on the western side, but most places aren't too bad. Once we get to Saturday though, that's the start of the next seven days of going downhill. So let me explain what happens. The first cold front comes up into the North Island with a burst of rain or showers. Although keep in mind, high pressure is just there. So that front is fizzling as it goes further north and eastern areas mostly dry and warmer than average. The coldest, uh, colder than average weather will be down around Southland, some parts of Otago and around the west coast to Sunday and here comes the next big surge, huge low down in the Southern Ocean, one of several that are passing by over the next week. Gale force winds coming in from the west to northwest. Now it's going to take another day or so to just lock in exactly who's most exposed, but I think it's pretty obvious to say the Southern Alps and inland parts of Canterbury and Otago most likely to get those strong winds. They'll surge up later towards Cook Strait and Wellington and showers for everybody else Warmer than average for many northern and eastern areas though, thanks to those nor'westers. And that changes on Monday. There is a cold change sweeping in. You see that dark blue line, everything south of that, colder than average on Monday. There might even be some snow showers around Queenstown, but keep in mind the pale blue here indicates just a risk of showers, not widespread rain, and that airflow also means it is mostly dry for all these eastern areas again. Might be a bit colder than average though on Monday for many places in the South Island, but still fairly mild for some of these eastern areas, just a few showers coming up along those western areas. Now look at Tuesday, uh, another surge of rough weather comes in, the next big low down there, the next surge of rain and wind and showers and patchy rain for the North Island. There are some dry spells amongst that airflow and the airflow for the North Island not as cold as the South Island's one, which is uh, I guess kind of obvious in this setup. Once we get to, to the middle of next week, in comes the next big low, they're pretty much one every day going along the southern part. Big strong surge of winds once again, another surge of rain, another surge of snow and in the North Island the further north you go the calmer the winds are the milder it is. So many of these northeastern areas are looking pretty good despite the winds at times it won't be too wet. Now this is Thursday's map, I wanted to end on Thursday. Another big storm down here, possibly down around the 950s or 960 hectopascal range, that is very deep. At the same time, that little bubble you see way up in the northwestern corner, that's the high from Australia. It is trying to move in. The latest modeling we see for Friday shows all those strong winds turning more southerly and potentially a southerly polar blast coming in, but it's too early to lock in because of all the chaos. So what we're saying is it's one to watch. End of next week, the big high from Aussie might be moving into the Tasman and all these winds might be turning more southerly but it's a long way to go just yet. So it's safe to say next week looks pretty unsettled around both New Zealand and Tasmania. But if you want settled weather, head off to Aussie. That's all from me. Have a great weekend. We'll see you again around Monday.